All right, so um, we're gonna go ahead and test the V4 version of the Stingray chassis. Uh, I made it with a six inch wheelbase to be able to mimic uh, what I was doing with the other one. Um, like I said before, this this version does not allow for articulation on the back. It's pretty much a hard set right there on the axle. It makes for a really clean look, but it also limits, you know, full articulation of everything else. You get about 45 degrees of articulation uh, just from the front axle, which uh, in some situations is alright. You know, um, sometimes you don't want to have so much articulation, but, uh, you know, we've been trying everything on this same course here, so we'll see what kind of a difference it makes. Uh, the other thing is because I, I don't have the links on the outside of this, I'm able to bring these tires a lot closer, giving us this look where we have a really narrow um, rear axle and then really wide front axles, which should give us an interesting uh, crawl, I guess. Um, this is something that I first saw on the XR10 when it came out way back in the day. It wasn't this extreme but it did have a narrow rear axle which helped to clear the gates you know when you were crawling so we'll see what it does here um, so let's try it out hopefully it's not a complete fail All right, so. so as you can already see None of these rocks provided any kind of a problem, so right now it's actually doing better than the other version, at least on this course. So this right here has always been an issue, let's see what we can do. Alright, right there you can see the difference in um, not having the articulation in the back. Um, the back wheels are lifting a little bit. Yeah, that's quite a bit of lift. All right, so that's gonna have, that's gonna cause us to have to come up with a different plan for this rock. Let's see, maybe do a little bit of steering here. so we were able to go up but we had to swap out to this rock um, I don't like that <laughs> I'm gonna try and get back on this one and see if it's possible to get on that big rock all right so let's get that another shot and see if there's actually a way that we could get up there now again like I said this will work better on some cases and in some cases it's just gonna be harder but the extra difficulty makes it a little bit more interesting as well. So let's see. All right, now I don't like that plant getting in the way. There we go. So, so far so good. All right, there we go. That was really easy, actually. So I ended up being able to get up, actually using the right side, which is the worst side that I had before. Um, back wheels used to kind of drag onto the left and fall off the rock, whereas this time they just stayed put. And I guess the narrow wheelbase, you know, kept them in a little spot that didn't make them fall off the rock. So that actually worked out better. Like I said, you know, it's a different kind of crawling. Once I get used to it, it might actually be better in this situation. So, 
Plus, I actually like the look of it better. <laughs> so I'm gonna try to make it work. So let's see, these right here. We all know that um, the problem is the separation between these rocks here. So let's see how this goes. Alright, so as you can see, I'm locking the back wheels. That actually helped me to pull them through without a problem. So I'm liking that dig. Mm -hmm. Alright, so what we're having now is a little bit of an issue that we've had with these axles before. Um, I don't know if you could tell, I have it steering a little bit too much, so I'm gonna go ahead and limit that steering because, as you can see, it's bending the um, steering servo, uh, I guess, um, rod. So, the reason for that is this actually came out of alignment, so that little pin came out, so we just gotta kind of force that back in there and uh, it gets back in place. But that, that can be solved by just moving this pin a little bit higher or limiting the travel on the servo. It's just these um, pins have a tendency to come off if you steer too much. So I'm going to go ahead and work on that and try to fix that because I don't like when that happens in the middle of a run. So we're going to have to start over up there to make it fair. Oh snap, too far, too far, not good. I might flip over this time around. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh, not good. Come on, don't flip. Yeah, I completely ruined it. Uh. Wow, I really messed up here. Alright, we were able to save it, but that was really ugly. Alright, so we're off of that. Okay. Let's try to get back. Now you guys are going to see a lot of messed up stuff when I'm going through this course because I don't like to edit my videos because there's no point in making a crawler and then hiding all the issues that come with the crawler so I'm trying my best to show everything unedited as always and that way you can make a decision as to whether it works for you or not let me see here this is a tricky one because I want that back tire to climb over it but then this front tire seems to want to get out of the way. Come on. Alright, so let's go back to front steer. There we go. Come on, you were almost there.
All right, so we used a little bit of wheel speed to overcome that. Just okay. All right, so let's see what we can get done here. Come on, follow that rock. Don't fall over. Don't. You're not listening. Come on, don't fall over. If I could only get a grip. I don't know how to tackle this one today. Um, let's see. This may end up being a pretty long video. Okay, okay that worked. I'll take it however I get it. Now, the thing about this, uh, these rocks are a little humid right now, which is making my tires really slippery. I don't know if you can see the shininess on them. So I think that has a little bit to do with the problems I'm encountering, but now I'm just making excuses. Let's see. So far, we're not doing too bad. We've seen good things and bad things. Locking those back wheels. Okay. Alright, now here, this rock. The one that always catches us. I'm kind of curious, because now having the tires closer to that axle, I may be able to overcome this a lot easier. So let's see. Okay, now the problem is not the back wheels, the front. Why am I doing this? There we go. All right, so right now, we're really close to where we always get caught. Let's see what happens. I'm gonna try to get caught on purpose, let's see. Okay, if we're caught, this is what happened last time, and this is how we got out. I don't know for sure whether I did better now or worse, but I'm still able to get out. So, I don't know. The verdict is out there. You guys let me know what you think. Now I'm just messing around. Alright, so pretty much it went through the whole thing. Uh, Having some issues because of my driving at first, I had to, you know, kind of come this way, so I brought it back up and it was able to go up. I think it does good. I think it does good. Uh, I'm really going to try to find better places to crawl that I could show, you know, what it's really capable of. And, you know, hopefully fix those little issues, like with the steering. Uh, hopefully give you guys a better view of what it can do. But, you know... It's still performing better than the other crawlers that I've tried here. Um, I haven't been able to pass this whole thing on a, with one of the scale crawlers. You know, SCX, Barrage, you know, none of those can go through this. But um, I kind of want to make this as best as possible. Like, you know, as good as the performance I, as I possibly can get out of it. So I will keep practicing. Like I said, this was my first run. Don't be too harsh on me. 
I think this guy is capable of doing a lot better than what I showed today. So we're going to keep trying different terrains and hopefully get a really good video out there. So you guys can see what I can do. Waste. That's the rocks. Thanks for watching and sorry for making such a long video. <laughs> Appreciate you guys watching. Thank you.